Hey guys, it's Cloudy. How are you all? Today we're back with another plushie vlog and I'm super excited to be sharing some of my favorite plushies that Sanrio has ever created. The plushies are from a character series called Sumiko Garashi, which are characters that like to hide in the corner. There are a lot of characters in the series and actually a lot of like recurring side characters as well. A lot of the ones that I've collected are kind of like special collaborations or seasonal series that suddenly came out for a short period of time. So without further ado, let's get started. The first characters I wanted to show you were the tiny little characters that I did collect that have the original Sumiko Garashi design. We have Tokage, which is the blue one. He is a dinosaur who is trying to hide from people who are trying to catch him and also another dinosaur which becomes friends with him. I don't know the green one as well but I believe they become friends and they look really cute together. As you can see Sumiko Grashi characters have really like round designs and really simple expressions as well. My boyfriend always mentions how like characters that have really neutral expressions always become some of my favorites. The next one I wanted to talk about is this really cute boba. The bobas come in four different colors and I have the pink one. They come in pink, yellow, blue, and brown because boba is typically brown. And their backstory is that they have been discarded. You know when you drink boba and there's a couple boba stuck in the drink at the very end after you drink all the milk tea? These are those discarded bobas. Another recurring character that we see a lot is this really cute one that is tempura themed. This one comes in blue and also red based on what you like. So these ones are pretty common and I would say that they come up pretty often in the store. Now I wanted to talk about some of the more unique pieces in my collection. The first one is the polar bear. The polar bear is also one of the main characters in the Sumiko Garashi series. However, this one is themed after a baby theme and all of the characters have some sort of extra accessory. So as you can see, this polar bear is designed with some lilac fabric to mimic baby pajamas. And this is the only bigger Sumiko Garashi plushie that I have. The reason that I got it is because I ended up getting this when I was playing crane games in Tokyo. Like I'm not the best at crane games, but I'm also a little bit addicted to them. If I see a crane game that has a decent sized plushie that I want, I'm gonna try and challenge it. And this is one of the ones that I got. I also have a big Tokage one. So this blue one, I have a bigger version of this one, but it's not here right now. It's at my boyfriend's house. So he has adopted that one. Huh? The next few that I want to talk about are also polar bears. The first one is this really adorable Easter themed polar bear bunny. So as you can see, it takes from the typical polar bear motif, but this one has bunny ears in it. And this one's pretty chubs. It has a keychain as well. I also have the really tiny one. Actually got this big one from a blind box and the tiny one I got while I was traveling in Hong Kong. Hong Kong also has a really big market for Sumiko Garashi plushies. So any of the plushies that end up being sold out in Japan, a lot of times they're resold in Hong Kong. Finally, for the last polar bear that I have in my collection is this really cute Halloween themed one. This one was a little bit more pricey because I know the Halloween ones came out for a short amount of time and there's only a select three or four characters that got special Halloween editions. As you can see, this one is also really tiny. A lot of these small Sumiko Garashi characters are very popular in this size because Sanrio not only makes them in tiny sizes, they also will make plush furniture, plush cars, and just plush sets that you can put the characters in and sort of design everyday slice of life scene. So as you can see, this polar bear one, he is really detailed. He has a cape, kind of like Dracula, and he has a really cute hat and also a mustache with a little bit of chain detailing. So because of these extra details, the price of this one will be a little bit more than the other ones, even though the size is quite tiny. Another collaboration that I fell in love with while I was traveling in Tokyo in May was the Sumiko Garashi and Baskin Robbins collaboration. They are sort of mint vanilla ice cream flavored with sprinkles on top. They also have a couple of other characters in this series that are strawberry themed or chocolate themed or just ice cream vendor themed but I only got these two because I thought they were so matching and they're really cute. The motif for this one was taken from the shape of the boba 
and they're almost identical except this one is kind of specially designed and then this one is based off of the Mount Fuji character from the Sumiko Garashi original series. This one is kind of shaped like a mountain so its original inspiration was the Mount Fuji character which was blue but this has just become a little like whipped cream mound of mint vanilla ice cream which I think is really adorable. I wasn't able to get my hands on other Baskin Robbins goodies because by the time I was hunting around Akihabara, a lot of the plushies had already been sold out and I was pretty surprised how quickly they went and then how little restock that places have. I believe I got these two from Amiyami, so the price for these was pretty standard. When I tend to hunt for special edition plushies on the secondhand market or secondhand apps, those prices tend to be marked up a little bit more due to scarcity and due to collector's demand. Another one that I happened to pick up while I was in Hong Kong is this adorable boba flower. This boba flower is from the spring series and when I saw them in Japan they were quite pricey. I think this is originally supposed to come with a little petal cushion where it kind of sits as its base but maybe this one lost the cushion which is why it was a little bit cheaper. The base inside is the boba and it's just wearing a suit for its themed collaboration. I really love the shape of the bobas because they're so compact and they're so cute. Um, some of them are just plushies and then as you can see this one that I got a really long time ago, I think I got this one in high school when I was going to Japan with my parents and this one has a keychain on it. I got this the same time that I got this one. And then finally, I have two Sumiko Garashi plushies that are really adorable, but actually a little bit strange. The first is another boba themed one. This is the brown boba with an avocado suit. And you can see because his face is brown, his face kind of acts as the avocado seed. I thought this design was so clever and so smart. And I actually found this as one of the last ones when I was looking at the Baskin Robbins series in the Amiyami store in Akihabara. So I feel very lucky that I ended up getting this one. I think it's really derpy and every time I look at it, it makes me smile. Another one that I'm obsessed with, as you guys know, I love Alice in Wonderland and if you watch my previous vlog video for plushies, I had Alice in Wonderland themed Rilakkuma plushies and this time I ended up finding Alice in Wonderland themed Sumiko Garashi cat. This cat is based off of the yellow boba so his face is pretty much identical to this pink boba again and he is themed after the Cheshire Cat. So he has the checkered pattern, the little bit of the Cheshire Cat face on the top and also he's holding playing cards because of Alice in Wonderland. I felt like other pieces in this collection were either sold out or pretty much impossible to get or really expensive on the resale market. I feel like my collection has become quite scattered because I try to be a bit frugal with my money and only collect the ones that I really really love and has a sort of balanced and fair, reasonable price range. So anyways, these were my Sumiko Garashi plushies. I hope you guys enjoyed me sharing a little bit of my happiness with you guys. I plan to collect a lot more of these like tiny versions because they're adorable, they don't take up a lot of shelf space, and they just feel like really happy to be together. Like they look really derpy and lonely sometimes and I feel like when I put them together, they're sort of like this little family and they add a lot of like coziness to my room. So I really love these plushies. And if you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you guys can subscribe for more and I will talk to you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.